Batman has Bane, Superman has Doomsday, and the whole of the DC Universe has Darkseid. But DC Comics have released the newest, latest, biggest threat to the whole world. Nay, the whole universe. And it is straight white males. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. If the left have censorship and the right have satanic panic, then I think it's perfectly fair to say that DC Comics have white man panic. Over the course of the last decade or so, both DC and Marvel have been creating some of the worst comics I have ever read in my life. Out of ideas, out of talent, and out of creativity, they now turn to race changing, gender changing, sexuality changing, and alienating so many customers. Because this ideology isn't adding to the rich lore and history of these characters, quite the opposite. It's annihilating them because this is the only ideology which is now allowed in mainstream comics. No longer are you allowed to have any other opinion than the opinion of the far left. And we've said it time and time again, but diversity of thought is the only diverse <laughs> aspect which isn't allowed anymore. There must be capitulation. There must be one think, whether or not you truly believe that. So like so many other companies today, they decided to go to war with their customers, a war where there is only ever going to be one victor, and that is the customers themselves as they will leave and spend their money elsewhere. My name is Shermina Bechinoy, and I am directing the next Star Wars film. I've always kicked open doors that were previously closed. And I think my feeling is that there is a critical mass of women who have begun to move forward in places at, that were previously close to them. So when people are like, what's your, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? I'm like, there is no Star Wars movie. There is only Star Wars. So when are you writing a Star Wars movie? Oh, please, please, Queen. Queen Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> the Acolyte's been cancelled. There'll be no season two. $180 million down the shitter on one of the biggest pieces of shit I've ever had the misfortune to watch in my life. People are sick and tired of activists coming into their fandoms, telling them how it should be done, telling them how the heroes that they've always loved are wrong, bad, evil, blah, blah, blah. This is the way that you should think. Here are the new crop of heroes that you should like. They exhibit no elements of heroicism, no elements of empathy, why we should care about them, what journey they've gone on because they're the best to start with, because they can't have any flaws, because to have those flaws would mean that you're a misogynist or a sexist or whatever they want to attach to it. People are sick and tired of this bullshit. However, it's the only narrative that they have, and so they can't deviate from it. And so what do we get? Double down, triple down, quadruple down. They can't admit their mistakes. They can't admit their failures. They can't course correct. They can only try and refeed you the shit in an effort to attempt to get you to accept it. Well, behaviors are gonna have to change, and this is one thing we're gonna we're asking companies. You have to force behaviors. So here we are another comic, another stab at customers, another stab at people that aren't in the hive mind, another stab at people that dare challenge the ideology crammed into their books nowadays. As DC Comics unveils their new villain, straight, white, men. Now, this is the portion of the video where I give you the caveat. This is the portion of the video where I show you how I've actually exaggerated, but we have a discussion point around it. This is the part of the video where I can't do that because this is the part of the video where that is actually what is happening here. No hyperbole. <laughs> this is the true new villain for DC Comics. In the new Blue Beetle comic, they show the radicalization of somebody through YouTube. Oh my God! 
It seems like the more isolated he became in his real life, the more time he spent posting online and ignoring the real world. A self-fulfilling prophecy. Hey, bitch! Did you look in the fucking mirror? We are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One side of the news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these things simply aren't true without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. At first, he mostly watched and shared videos about comics and games. The posts were mostly tame compared to what he'd start getting into next. <laughs> now, this is where things are about to get really funny. As one of the radical people are revealed to be none other than Jeremy, a homosexual man from Geeks and Gamers. I love The Last Jedi. Or should that be Geeks and Gamers? Hmm? Unlike the mainstream media, we don't wear makeup, we don't spread lies, we don't have a bias, we believe in the truth. I love The Last Jedi. The left tries to tell us that multiculturalism is the answer to all of society's problems, yet they criticize us for being men, for being white, for being straight. They want to emasculate you. DC, if anyone knows anything about emasculating their males, then it's definitely you. Yes, indeed, straight white male is bad in DC, which I'll be totally honest with you, doesn't surprise me in the slightest as straight white man has been bad in all forms of media for a long time now. After all, male and pale is stale is a mantra which has been going around Hollywood for a while now. And if you want to find yourself work, you better get ticking those damn boxes, people, because that's the only way you're going to get it. Married with children, Children, doesn't matter. Just say that you're queer or identify as something. Tick that box. Conform to the ideology. Put yourself in a position to get some work. But that's not all, folks, because if you don't like the comics that they're creating, if you don't like the TV shows and the movies, and you're critical of these products, then guess what? The next page is about you. The thing is, Jamie, I'm 99% sure this fraternity is actually a neo-Nazi group. Um, um, um. That's right, folks. If you don't like the direction that Star Wars is taking, you're probably a neo-Nazi. If you don't like the mainstream comic books, then guess what? You're probably a neo-Nazi. If you're sick and tired of just having characters superficially race change, sex change, sexuality change, then guess what? You're probably just a neo-Nazi. The beauty about projection is you often say the truth, you just try and gaslight people into believing that it's wrong. There's absolutely no denying that if you're a man right now, then you're severely under attack. If you're a white man right now, then you're under attack even more. And if you're a straight white man right now, then holy shit, you're ground zero for every perceived problem that these people seem to have. The uncomfortable truth is, yes, they are trying to emasculate you. Yes, masculinity now has the word toxic in front of it because they fear masculinity. They want to demonize it, make it feel as if it's evil or wrong to be masculine. Shame you for it. And you can put as much red ink on this page as you truly desire. There ain't nothing that's been said on this page which is wrong. Here's another truth for you. Writing dog shit like this is the safest fucking thing you can do in comics, TV, and movies right now. Conforming to the accepted narrative doesn't make you edgy or different. It makes you complicit, compliant, and a good little dog. And the simple irony of the matter is... This isn't even Ted Cord's Blue Beetle. You see, this is a derivative. Another lazy, race-changed derivative 
of that character. When you tell your prospective customers that you hate them, your prospective customers go elsewhere. That's why the mainstream comic book industry is in the shitter right now. That's why sales are garbage right now. You hate your audience and you're very vocal about it. Your audience, well, they've gone elsewhere because they did the big F you to you as well. They just didn't go to social media to do it. They just did it with their wallets. And that's the best way to do it. I'll see you in the next video. You take care. Bye for now.